Hi, good morning. Today I want to read to you out of Hebrews 6 <clears throat> verse 18. This was so that by two unchangeable things, his promise and his oath, in which it is impossible for God ever to prove false or deceive us, we who have fled to him for refuge might have mighty indwelling strength and strong encouragement to grasp and hold fast the hope appointed for us and set before us. This first part of the verse refers to two unchangeable things which prove that God's oath are absolutely and reliable. First, it's the very nature of God. He is all-powerful. And the fact that he cannot lie, we see that in Numbers 23 verse 19. Therefore, whatever God says is certain and will be done. That is his nature. And then the second part of that scripture refers to the evidence of the truth and that we see in his word, the whole history of the word is where God made so many promises and every promise he fulfilled. So we've got the nature of God, which says he cannot change, he will not lie, and he will stick to his word. And then we have the evidence throughout scripture that proves that to us. And you know, I'm sure that I can say all of us have been in a place where we were waiting on the fulfillment of a promise of God. And the question is, how do you wait for that fulfillment? There are so many promises in the word. God is with you, Deuteronomy. God hears you in 1 John. God is your strength in Psalm. God is your provider. And so we can re read through the scripture and see promise after promise. So when you wait for a fulfillment of a promise of God, do you wait in anxiousness? Do you doubt? Are you sometimes fearful? Because if you know God's nature, you wait with an expectation. You wait in peace. We cannot wait like people in the world which do not have hope. So we need to place ourselves in God's nature. When we go through difficult times, when our faith is tested, that we can stay in that hope. Position ourselves in his nature that we will not fear, we will not be anxious, and we will never doubt. And I want to just confirm with you, Hebrew 10 verse 35, Do not therefore fling away your fearless confidence, for it carries a great and glorious compensation of reward. I bless you with that.